Okay. I was trying to move around because that thing is loud, so just get comfortable. Yeah, I'm, I'm comfy. I'm comfy. Okay. All right, so they're both gone, and uh, so... Let's start. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Eli. And we are Ace and Casey. Coming and back with... Oh, sorry. Dang it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, t- Hi, I'm Eli. <laughs> you weren't going. I was going to, but you were still laughing. <laughs> okay, now we can't even do intros without our faces. Okay. okay. Great. Okay. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Eli. And we are... More emotion, please. Hi, I'm Eli. Beautiful. Okay. Go! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Eli. And we are Ace and Casey, and we are bringing something new to the table. I like that, okay? <laughs> Come on. Oh, okay. We're not doing another one. We're just going to keep okay, going. Let it, let it, okay, yeah. So, yeah, the new thing we are doing now is um, a little something called, uh, well, really something we've been trying to do. but Yeah, for a while, but we never could meet up because we were busy with school. But we are out! So, Finally. Doesn't matter. Okay. So this thing is called Movie Chats, where basically it'll be something like movie reviews, but also maybe other stuff as well, like how we could help, uh, how companies could benefit, or how they should be, or what they should be doing yeah. to make their movies better. You know, just little things like that. Yeah. Stuff that they could benefit from. So in this Movie Chats, it'll be a little, it'll be about a very well talked about movie that yes. has been split from movie reviewers and fans and critics and is really all over the place and of course we are talking about batman v superman dawn of justice league anyways (laughs) so uh let's see how do we start this off okay uh Uh, like first we we start about what we liked obviously okay so uh you know from basically from the beginning you know well uh, I wouldn't say from the very beginning it was pretty good because then we saw his origin story again, which I didn't get much emotion from it, you know, because we've seen it so many times, so it was just kind of like, oh, his parents are dying again, again. I think I think you said earlier that um, you basically were pretty much into it until like the middle of yes, it. Yes, I was very much into it in uh, from the from the beginning to the middle because Batman's reason for hating was pretty good. It wasn't comic book accurate i would say but it still worked it worked with uh with the batman we had yeah that, okay yeah that's true for the movie was yeah it does work and um um what, what was i gonna say <laughs> uh, i think we should go for like story wise story wise i'm going to point out right now it's not the best yeah once again it was good till the middle yeah because it went all Spider Man three and Amazing Spider Man two all over because oh, yeah. like we've had way 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 too many things that one audience can handle. Like you have to go through it multiple times to have a full understanding of what's going on. Yeah, I mean, like for comic book nerds, maybe you'll get most of it. Oh, I got it right away. I mean, even I right. knew what they were talking about most of the time. And uh, and I'm not that much of a DC fan. I mean, I do like them, but you know, whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, it had, like, it was trying to do so many things. In one movie. In one It was just Batman versus Superman. And that would have been more than enough. Oh, my God, yeah. I would have geeked out during their whole fight. If their fight would have been, like, you know, one of those Dragon Ball Z fights where it'd be, like, 30 minutes long. I would have loved that, though. Like, a 30-minute long fight. That would have been beautiful. Maybe even longer. Don't you think that would have been gotten boring, though? No, if it kept changing from Batman's different tactics, because he's... A brilliant man. Oh, uh, I, yeah, we should, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> what do you mean talk about later? Uh, no, just one thing about Batman we should bring up. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, so uh, maybe we should go into characters-wise. Um, Henry Cav- Cavill? Henry Cavill. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I, I I'm think, gonna what, keep it as Henry Cavill. I'm sorry if that pronunciation is not right. So, yeah, Henry Cavill as Superman. He's He's good. Oh, like, yeah. He does good what he's told to do. Yeah, I, but maybe if they just gave him more, he could do so much better. Give him more lines, give him more opinions. And, th- like, they keep bringing up, like, he's always so mopey, or he's just angry and has to fight, whenever he has to fight someone, but then he yeah. gets mopey again. Like, oh my should God, I dude. save people? Yeah, you should, yeah. dude. You are, you are freaking Superman. But what about Lois? Lois. I, okay, okay, from Man of Steel, Lois was good. Like, she was actually had something to do. She knew what she was doing. And oh, then in yeah. this movie, she became more of a damsel in distress. 
and what, some, more I towards think, the end. Yeah, more towards the end. Yeah, I'd say I'd, I'd say they did keep Lois Lane's attitude of being you know this, uh, this rogue type, uh, do it herself kind of person. You know, in the beginning where she's in that desert, and basically she got herself in that big mess. And then, and then she's in trouble. And then she's in trouble again. Oh, again. And then it's like, you know what? You think so that's many a times, classic Superman trait. Yeah. Like Lois of Lois always being in danger. But I would like it just once Superman's in a while. Savior. But they do it multiple times in this movie. So then I'm like, how many times they? He does it three, four, three or four. Yeah, because in the beginning, um, after Lex Luthor pushes her off the building, ah, bye. <laughs> and then, yeah, when she's basically being drowned. Yeah. You know what I was expecting when she was about to be drowned? I was expecting Aquaman to just come up from there and be like, hey, Superman, looking for Another this. reason to have him in the movie. That would actually have been a good reason to have him in the movie. But yeah, God, Le- God. Superman, Lois Lane, yeah, we got those out of the way. Okay, so now we should move on to the other character whose name's in the title, Batman. Batman. Beautiful Batman. I mean, this oh is my. perfect. Oh, well, almost perfect, but... I Okay, okay I could care less, but... This is probably the best on-screen Batman that we have ever had. Because, Definitely. especially that warehouse scene, that's like the, that's my favorite part of the movie. Warehouse. Scene. Yes, this is perfect. That's the that, watch. <laughs> okay, weird. Okay, anyway. Ah, okay. Oh, wait, uh, maybe, we should also probably uh, talk about, like, what did you, what, what is your opinion on Batman killing people? Because he obviously killed people. Obviously, yeah. Um, maybe, like, a lot of times where he hands-on killed people was in his vision. And that was, like, when I was okay about it. And then the other times was basically, well, he was firing at them through his bat wing and the Batmobile. So, yeah, he did kill people through his hands. So, um, I don't know. Because they were going for toward, more towards the Injustice storyline, which was basically even more of a brutal version of the DC Universe. Which, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which was... Which I love that. I love that. I love that how they tried doing that, but they didn't. They didn't. Fu- they didn't. How can I say it? They didn't fully go. Into they didn't it. fully go into it, of course. And so then, just made me feel. So it's just. It dis- was just dis- there. detached from everything. Yeah, but I guess I'm. I'm okay with it. I'm okay. Yeah, to be honest, I don't mind it at all. Like, all the ways he hurts people, like he might as well have just killed them. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. He's strong enough to. <laughs> Break a guy's neck with a punch. <laughs> uh, let's see. What uh, Wonder Woman? What do you think of Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman. I mean, once again, like perfect. I mean, the, the casting for the heroes on this movie was really good. Is there anything else we need to say about Wonder Woman? Because I was about to make a transition. Oh, um, well, I mean, she was definitely more. She, she was in. She, she was there. there in parts where she's there, and then we kind of forget about her. Then she's there again. Oh, hello. And we forget about her again, and then she's there. Yeah, so, so like you said, the heroes are pretty good at casting. Now, how about the villains? Okay. Oh, my God. The villains. Lex Luthor, yeah, like, he was okay, I guess, in the dinner party, but then afterwards he went was, crazy. Like, there was only one part that I really liked, and I know it's probably one of the most hated scenes of him, but it's like, you know, where he's at the dinner party, and he's like, oh, hello, boys. Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. I love it. I love bringing people together. How are you? Oh, you should. No, oh, yeah, that's a good grip you got there. You should not pick a fight with this guy. Giant wink. Oh my god, yeah, a wink to the audience, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, that was that was like my one. I was like, you know, I'll get into this. And then throughout the movie, he just gets more unstable, and I'm like, oh yeah, and then it's uh, really hard to, really hard like, to. This is Lex Luthor. Imagine him as Lex Luthor, yeah. And like, Especially the ending scene where he basically he's now he should belong in Arkham <laughs> Asylum. <laughs> hey, the bells are rung. Now they cannot be unrung. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, God, yeah, it's crazy. I'm like, I didn't. Why is it? Why wasn't he just the Joker? But I love having that. Oh, uh, that was more about Batman. We'll forget. I forget. Uh, I missed my opportunity. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So okay. Lex Luthor, <sighs> weird. I don't know. And then the part everyone I know did not like about it. Oh, d- uh, for some reason... Doomsday? They, yes. For some reason, they had to put him in Batman v Superman, even though... But why? There's a, actually a whole separate cartoon movie and a whole separate comic book about just Superman versus Doomsday. 
So it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, they just threw that in there. Like, why? And they kill him uh, yeah. off. They kill Superman off. Uh, in the, just the... the he dies. The, excuse my language. The bitchiest way <laughs> in the second movie. Superman dies in the second film. What the heck? I don't know. <laughs> Snyder, <laughs> Snyder, if you are listening, which I doubt you are, but... Yep. Why? Why? Just, you know, I... Why? I'm going to be on... I'm sorry, I'm going to go on a rant here right now, but... Go. Why? Like, you know what? You know what would have been more awesome? And I know this is... You've probably heard this before, but... You know what would have been much cooler? If you had waited maybe a lot of movies later, and then you yeah. saved the death of Superman, and then you just... You know what would have been much cooler? Probably after. Then the Justice League would have been at his funeral. But we're not going to say that, are we? Nope. And then Doomsday, like, if it was actually Doomsday, he comes down, they're having a brutal fight where actually blood is being spilled, where there actually there is a tense, the stakes are higher, and then that would have been good. But they weren't. They weren't even that high. And it it was just a stab to the chest. What the heck? And now I felt... When Superman died... I felt nothing. And I love Superman. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Rant done. I mean, no. Then that, you know what? I probably would have went for it. I probably would have just went with it. But no, you had to make sure all the fanboys weren't crying by having that little specks of dirt float from the coffin. And I'm like, oh, th- of oh, course. Even, of course you would. How do you even heal from that? Because it doesn't have any true healing powers without the sun. It, it, and then the sun wasn't even on him. Like and he's alive. I don't know. I'm like, what the? Ugh. Yeah. Death. That was. Why? Ugh. This and movie. Then, to focus more on Doomsday, it looks like a troll from Lord of the Rings. It's not even like if they were even to like... go for Doomsday, they they should have. They might as well just have went with the full comic book look, which is more intimidating than what we got in the movie. He looks like the troll from Lord of the Rings made love to a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from a Michael Bay movie. Yep. Exactly. <sighs> so, uh, okay, now there were good things about this movie. Uh, the visuals, for one. The, the visuals, visuals look like they're straight out of a comic book. I'll give Schneider that one. Yeah. So, yeah, the visuals are amazing. The action, like, when Batman and Superman actually get to fighting... It's pretty good. Didn't last as long as I'd liked, but it's pretty good. And yeah. they had a... Not so, not so good reason to stop fighting, but... Like, they didn't have really that much of a good reason to start fighting. Like, the reasoning... Like, Batman had was good ready reason. to... He was, was ready to ready. kill. Superman was just Superman like, had to save his mom. So, what I, what I would have liked is they both had different I- ideologies on, you know, how they work as, you know, superheroes. And then yeah. they would have gotten to a disagreement, and then it would just got violent, and that's when it would have gone. Yeah. That was a good reason. And But they, then they, Superman was having a good reason to not like Batman, but then they completely dropped that, and it had to be about, oh, I gotta save my mom, so I have to fight you, even though they literally could have avoided that fight with a simple talk or a conversation. Pretty much. Like, and it could have been, hey, Batman, you know what? Lex Luthor's behind this. He kidnapped my mom and he wants me to fight you because, yeah, I'm pretty sure he told you that. I'm pretty sure he had made up this whole scenario, too. And the Batman would have been like, oh, really? Huh. Well, actually, it, that, that makes sense. And also, you know, they built Batman so well in this movie. And he just seems so afraid of Superman, which he he hates him, which makes no sense why when he's fighting, he's, like, trying to back away sometimes because... I guess he gets really abrasive when he has, when he has, it's my phone, when he has, uh, when he has, when he hit him with the kryptonite gas, which, you know, makes sense, but then after, he's like, remember when he's punching against the wall, and then you see that he's getting his powers back, he's like, oh, flinching, I'm like, snap. are you serious? You're flinching? You're Batman. You are the mother effing Batman. At least have, like, you know, because there's also a million different ways Superman, or there's also, like, tons of different ways uh, Batman could also hurt Superman. Because, you know, he can make technology. Because, like, you know, there's technology today that 
basically can simulate a punch, but a thousand times harder than a normal human. Mm -hmm. And plus... Thank you, Film Theory. (laughs) Thank you, Film Theory, yes. And then, uh, also another thing, I don't know how he could do this, but he could put... Because this was in... This is in the comic book I actually got from one of the loot crates, Mm -hmm. where Batman was fighting Superman while he had the Joker gas, but he was punching him with gloves that were basically made... That had um, red sun radiation in them, which weakens it. That but that would have been beautiful too. So you know that. So that entire bat suit that he had on, it literally meant nothing to Superman. Oh my god! It was like there was probably no like car- cardboard to him. I mean, really. So that that suit was pointless. But, um, and I know, like, I heard that bat- Ben Affleck was so, um, would you say sad or disappointed that the movie was not well received as it should have been? Yeah, I feel bad. But for I really him, do not. He was the best part about the movie. So I do not blame I Ben. Think, I think he wanted the movie to be as good as he was as the Batman. And I think it would have worked if he was the director. Like, I oh my god, be. yeah, because he's also a director. Yeah, and I think they're trying to take um, Zack Schneider away from the Justice League oh, movie. Please, my god, they need to. Jeez. So and like already having. A freak slap in the face cameo, prop two cameos basically for Doomsday. Oh, not Doomsday for Dark Side. One of the Omega symbol in the desert. Oh yeah, I, and that, then that, that a was straight clever. up that was clever. And then like a straight up scene where you see him. He looks terrible, by the way. If that was Dark maybe, Side, actually maybe it was one of his uh, uh, minions. Minions. Hopefully it was, but oh my god, it's so yeah. DC well, DC is just I don't know. Hopefully they'll learn from their mistakes. And Zack Snyder's like on. a rush director with this because he he rushed some scenes with Man of Steel, and then he rushed some scenes with this one. He should have took in time. Uh, should we also mention like how they're trying to portray Superman as God? Oh my god, that's what I wanted to discuss on our first attempt at this. My like, God, stop with the God imagery. It, it makes no sense anymore. Like. We get it. Superman's an all-powerful being, but even in the comics and the old movies, he wasn't portrayed as God. And now there's, like, way too much symbolism. Like, you gotta, yeah. you gotta admit the that. The scene where they're all touching him, like, they're not even, like, thanking <gasps> him. They're just touching him. It's like, what? What are you doing? Are you even... Just say like, gracias you're, already. You're de- <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, I've done a Lo siento. Anyways, uh... Yeah, I mean... They're basically degrading mankind Super- in these films by making them seem like they're such simpletons to Superman. When really they're... And Superman just wants to help people. That's yeah. what Superman is. He lives among them and helps them. It's he just, <sighs> And then sometimes he just looks down on them. Like with the stupid scene with the, with the flood... And the people are on top of the roof. He's oh just, my god! He's just floating there. He's just floating there. What the heck? Would have been better. You know what would have been really better? Oh, really better. You know what would have been a lot better? What they should have done? They should have. You know, maybe like they should have showed like shots of them struggling. I should have filmed this scene. They should have, like shown <laughs> shots of like them struggling to get to the roof. Uh-huh. Like they're looking around. Maybe they're beginning to make that s symbol, but then Superman just lands on the roof and he's like, "I'm here to help." And he just get a hand. Out. And like, you can just say something simple like need a hand. Yeah, the bam. He helps everybody. That would like, oh my god. That that would have been Superman. Yes. So, I think we I think we said everything. Yeah, said everything so, I wanted to say. What do we think of this film? Oh my god, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I yeah I don't know. If I would give it a rating, I'd probably give a ten. <laughs> our first video. <laughs> Anyways, we uh, had those in our other ones. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, but they, it wasn't like the typing thing. It, it wasn't the typing <laughs> thing, but it wasn't just like black screen. But. Anywho, um, so basically, like, so if it was out of ten, I'd probably give it less than five because halfway through it was good, but then everything it did after that, it's just too much to give it a five. It's just too. So out of ten, I would probably I'd give, give it this like four. It's. Four, maybe three and a half. It's, oh man, I'd hate to do that, but yeah. Like, I'm probably just gonna have to go halfway, give it a five. Yeah. Cause I would, I'll see this movie again because it does. Ha- yeah, like, it, oh, it's hard to say. It gives, it gives me a comic book feel for once. Yeah, like it's hard to say not to go see this film. Yeah, see it if you want to see. If you want to see, but I, then again, a pretty good DC film. 
But if you want to see but then 100% again, comic book accurate, maybe really, just when, watch the Really, when are any of these movies comic accurate or completely 100% comic accurate? Captain America came close. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, so yeah, 5 for me, 4.5 for him. So... Mm. 4.5, yep. Yeah, this is just a movie. Like... I won't care if you did see it or didn't see it. Yep. Honestly, and this is something I thought about previous days. I don't think I've mentioned it to you, but honestly, fan, fans probably wouldn't want... No, this might just be me of the whole world, but I would like them to just stop what they're doing. Maybe just reboot it right away because I wanted to see this perfectly done, and now I don't get to see it perfectly done. So basically what uh, Jeremy John said... Like, this movie was only worth seeing if you're drunk. Oh. Yeah, now it's... Wait a minute. Why am I... Why do I gotta be drunk to see this movie? Why is this not, like, the coolest movie ever? More moves. More moves. <laughs> okay, um... I think that's all we need to say for this movie. Yeah, if you want to check it out, go for it. It's... Is it still decent, in theaters? I'd say. I don't know if it's still in theaters. No. So, rent it. Buy it. Okay, yeah, I think, I think it's worth renting. And it's your, it's your choice if you want to buy it. It's your choice if you want to buy it. Buy if you dare. <laughs> okay, so, yep, I think that's it. I think that's all. We, I think our ranting is done. <laughs> yes, 23 minutes of ranting. Wow, look at that. Okay, guys, um, thanks for listening. Yes, thanks for tuning in. We need to get a podcast. <laughs> yeah. It, it, how do you, our how, own radio show. How, do you, how, do you, how would you get a podcast? Like, how do you start those? Because, like, even a church I know has one. What is a... You have to tell me what... A uh, we'll look it up later. Because I'm not really too sure. Okay. Um, okay, for real, guys. Thank you all for listening. If oh, you have yeah. listened. And if you share it... How did I do this? Oh, you no! You want me to do it? I could guide you through it. Uh, you... No. Okay, yeah. Thank you all for watching. If okay, you like if you like me, it, like it. If you want to share it with Facebook or Twitter or whatever they have, then do that. And if you watch more videos like this, or listen to more videos like this, then click the subscribe button below. Because... I'm pretty sure there's another movie that we need to talk about that's not that dissimilar from yes. this movie. And, plus, we did a... Me, Eli, and all of our group of friends did a short film... Called uh, The Bro Trip. Called The Bro Trip. We've been meaning to upload that. I couldn't obviously upload because I got a new MacBook Pro, but my old computer wouldn't let my flash drive in, so I couldn't upload it for weeks. And so, it's going to be... Ir- so if it's not oh, up, yeah. if it's not up, it'll be uploaded soon. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be errors in it, obviously, because... So, tune in next week, and we'll talk about Civil War, I guess? Yes. Civil War. Spoiler alert. We loved it. (laughs) Okay, guys. Yes. Uh, Okay. To sign off, I'm Eli. I'm Jack. We're Ace and Casey, and we'll see you later. Want to go get a sandwich? Yeah.